What's going on heathens are back again with another reaction video um, We're gonna be checking out sleep tokens take me back to Eden uh, I've been hearing about these guys for a really long time and I've I've ne It's taken me a while to really jump into them um, Not too long ago. I pulled them up on Spotify and I just hit play all so it was, it was really it was just a random um, a random playlist. I didn't pick out any album or anything. Um, I don't know what songs I've listened to. A couple of songs that really stood out to me was um, one of them was Jericho because he he hit some really good high falsetto notes in that one, and I was like, God damn, that, that's when I was like, this dude's a really good singer. And then the other one that um, stood out to me was a Whitney Houston cover on a dance with somebody. Um, not because it was like a holy shit this is mine but it was just because like it was a really unique version of the song and it's just the song that i know i grew up listening to that um so that really stood out to me too i don't know anybody else who's ever covered that song but um i'm gonna be checking out i i went to their page on youtube and this is their latest video so this is one i'm gonna be checking out take me back to eden um, if you guys are familiar with this band, which I'm sure a lot of people are, it's got like 13 million views on this one, I believe, so it's a lot. Um, drop some of your favorite songs by them, and I'd love to check out some more. Um, and then hit thumbs up, subscribe, and let's check this out. I don't even recall anybody ever recommending me check this band out either, and all, out of all the recommendations I get. I dream in stop there that's it's such a god damn what's the word i'm looking for it's it's very it's a very captivating like two and a half minutes already it it doesn't feel like it's been two and a half minutes it feels like it's just now getting into the chorus uh, which i guess it is but um two and a half minutes is a long time usually for a, a verse that's normally about half the song but it, it's a very captivating song his vocals it's like it's it's all really simple but it's just 
like he's saying so much and then the the picture of it, it looks like it's half of an angel and half of like a grim reaper which is really interesting um it's so good i'm not entirely sure what to make of it yet um i had to pull up the lyrics because um, i don't understand all of it but we're gonna keep going it's so good it just sounds really good it's just something that you really just vibe out to Can I bring matter and make up just two days since the main really interesting I'm still messed up transition feels like a me freezer right dangling like cold cuts missed calls and some phones from people I just don't trust nerd talk fake love but I'll take a pound of your flesh before you take a piece of my paste up white roses black doves got mother rise up I need you to see me for what I Wow, that was heavy. I'm, I want to hear that again. Sorry. That was really good. Frame went down and I'm still messed up. Room feels like a me freezer, right dangling like cold cuts. Missed calls. That's heavy. From people I just don't trust. Nerd talk, fake love, but I'll take a pound of your flesh before you take a piece of my paste up. White roses, black doves, got my.
God damn. God damn, dude. Wow. That was so good. song did not feel like it was eight minutes long. Did not. At all. That was really good. I really hope you guys can send me some more recommendations. Um, I would love to check out some more. Like I said, I picked this one just because it was the, the newest video they had posted up. But man, the, the lyrics are freaking poetic, for sure. It could... I feel like it could have many meanings but for me um like it could, it could seem like it could it, like it could be about a relationship with somebody but also feel like it has a lot of spiritual meaning and maybe um, a lot of self-reflection and just um observing life in general and just um making a lot of poor decisions because you're naive and just um temptation and stuff like that it feels like it covers a lot of that and whether it's whether they meant it to be straightforward or metaphorical or whatever the case may be um but i feel personally i feel like it's um it's just about going through life and you're not deliberately trying to do anything wrong or bad you're just you're just curious, you're naive, you're you're making decisions in the moment. Because um, there was a part in there where he was saying he's a walking hell and the... I forget, the gods are looking at him somehow. Um, I can't remember the words, but... Um, but I feel like that's... That's, again, I think that represents somebody... Because we have free will and we're just walking through life and doing what we want and, and just... Um, you can imagine God looking down on you just like, God, why are you making those decisions? Um, the line in there about, I'm a, I'm a winged insect and you're a funeral pyre. I think of that as kind of like um, a moth to a flame, how you're really tempted by something that attracts you, but it's only going to do you harm. And I, And even the name of the song, Take Me Back to Eden, because Eden was where humanity was first place, is before we had knowledge and where um we we didn't really have like we had the free will but at at the time we um god what am i trying to say it's um it's it's like a it's like a place of innocence like there was like no sin had been committed at the time and so it's I feel like whenever whenever you're a child and you're first brought into the world, you're gonna and you get you get to go out and start learning on your own how to do things, and you have no guidance. You're gonna be stepping in shit a lot along the way, and sometimes it's just like, man, you've you've just gotten so fucking deep into this mess, you just want to go back and just start over. That's kind of um, the way I feel about this song, and I think a lot of people relate to that too. A lot of people just wish there was a reset button, we could just start over and go back and just start over with the knowledge that we have now from the mistakes that we make but um and i feel like especially in this world this world moves so fast and um it can be really hard to keep up and make the right decisions but by the time you've got it figured out it's too late and you gotta you gotta figure out how to use what you know and just try to pick up and make it right but it feels like as soon as you got it figured out shit's changed again and um I don't know. I could be way off, but um, this is this is just me just thinking about like like this is my first time listening to it and actually reading through the words and stuff. And again, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, I, I think there's a lot of um possible double meanings and metaphorical shit in there, but this is just how I'm interpreting it in the moment. Um, but 
let me know what you guys um, think about it and let me know if you have a better take on it and what it means to you. Um, I'm sure it means a lot of different things to a lot of different people. Like I said, I think it could be translated in many ways. But it was a killer fucking song. I enjoyed it. And the end, the end was just, that was cool as fuck. It's, um, it's definitely some music that you, you just want to vibe to. Like, I don't know that I would turn it on just to jam out and just hang out or whatever. It's, it's more along the lines of something where I just want to really just, I don't know, just, just kind of vibe to it, you know? Because it's it's definitely um, very poetic for sure, and it's it's something I can relate to as well. Especially the part where he was um, where he was rapping that was really cool too. That came out of nowhere. I'm, I'm impressed by the song. I do want you guys to please drop some more recommendations to check out. It'd be a lot of fun. Um, thank you guys if you've hung out this long. I appreciate it very much. Um, Again, drop some recommendations. Um, thumbs up, subscribe would be greatly appreciated. Um, you guys take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you on the next reaction. Later.